Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, in this video, we will continue talking about the file system module uh, in Node.js. Uh, today, we'll focus on the create write stream function, uh, which is a function that will allow you to create what's called the writable stream. Uh, that is a stream uh, that will allow you to write data to a particular file that you provide in the path to. Um, uh, you can also use that writable stream to have it uh, uh, emit events for you. Uh, you can also listen to the events that uh, it will emit uh, throughout uh, the, its lifetime writing that data for you. Uh, so what you'll need to provide to create the stream is essentially a path to that file that uh, you want to write to and optionally you can provide options. Uh, by default uh, these options are listed right here. Okay, uh, The flag is W meaning writing the file. If you don't want to destroy that file every time you run this program you might provide R plus uh, which is read and write but keep in mind that will not change the nature of the of the stream that you cr you've created. It's, it's re it will remain a writable stream even if you change this flag here. The difference will be that uh, the file will not be deleted and replaced every time you run this program. The default encoding is UTF-8. Okay, so once you write the file it knows it's going to be UTF-8. You can change that if you like. Uh, you can provide a file descriptor uh, to a file that's already open. So if the file is already open, the open event on this uh, writable stream will not be fired uh, for this file since it's already open and uh, the path here will be ignored uh, and the uh, file descriptor will be used instead. Uh, the mode again is security and uh, by default it's 666 meaning uh, everyone can read or write, read and write uh, uh, in this, uh, this file that, that is being created. Auto close means you want the stream to automatically close the file. Uh, if that's true, that's what's going to happen. If that if that's false, it will not, and uh, it will be your program's responsibility to close that. And the start uh, 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 the start attribute here, not attribute property here. Uh, will it doesn't have a default value. I mean, this is one option you can provide to uh, determine where in the file you want to start writing. Okay, so let's go ahead right here and try a few ways uh, we can use a writable stream that we've created uh, using the fs.createWriteStream function uh, to just write some data to a file. So as you can see here, I'm pulling the file system module and here I just have some data I want to write to a file. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a writable stream. Okay, so let's just wstream and to create it, there's just fs that create write stream. Um, now let's provide a path to that file. Okay. Path I want is inside the text files, and uh, let's call it uh, write.txt. Okay, and the options as as we've done with the uh, create read stream function, we've tried the different ways. Uh, this time there, there's really no need to. The the options are essentially the same. All right, so let's go ahead and use that write stream to just write that data to a file. As uh, simply as saying w write stream dot write. Okay, and uh, what you need to provide here is the data, and uh, you got a callback here that will throw an error if there was one. Okay. And uh, no, you know this is your callback. Uh, you can check for the error if error. Let's just log that to the console. Okay. And if there is no error, 
now we can uh, essentially say that uh, the file uh, was written successfully or we can just say console.log data written okay so this is essentially just to tell us uh, in the console uh, what happened all right so let's run that and see what we get okay tells us data written creates the file for us and this is the data we wanted to write to the file all right so easy as that okay now let's say you had a file uh, somewhere in your file system so let's say uh, this for example and you wanted to just write the data that's in that file uh, to another file so let's say you know some sort of copy all right so what you could do is use uh, the create read stream function to create a uh, readable stream and then just simply every time there is a data event that is fired from that read stream you just take that data and write it to that uh, uh, to that write stream uh, that we've created here so let's go ahead and do that so what we'll need to do is create a readable stream uh, using the create read stream function so let's just do that our stream is going to be fs that create read stream okay the stream we want is going to come from the text file slash file path okay and let's say we want to read the data in 30 bytes chunks okay so high watermark is going to be 30 okay so 30 bytes so now the expectation here is the data event will be fired every time uh, uh, you get 30 bytes you read 30 bytes so you read 30 bytes you fire the, the event uh, and, and then you send uh, the data out on the on uh, if somebody's listening for the for the data event okay so let's go ahead and listen for that event right here so our stream that on data okay what will happen is it will provide the data to the listener right here okay so on data what do we want to do I want to take that data and write it to the uh, write stream. Okay, so as simply, very simply, we will take the write stream that write. Okay, write stream that write. What do I want to write? I want to write the data. Okay, and let me just put something here. So. So we can see what's uh, essentially going on. So let's just write 30 bytes written, okay? And let's just put a new line here. 30 bytes written. And this function actually takes a callback. It will pass an error that to that callback if there was one. So let's handle that error. If error. Okay. Console.log error. That message. Okay. And if there is no error. Okay. What that will tell us is um, that 30 bytes were written to the file. Let's just print that to the file, console.log. Bytes written. Okay, so the expectation here is that every 30 bytes, we are going to take that and write it to the file every 30 bytes that is read by the read stream so let's go ahead and run that see what we get okay so you can see here 30 bytes 
every time you get 30 bytes, you add the data to the file. Okay, so let's look at that this, this data right here. All right, so 30 bytes, and it tells us 30 bytes written. Uh, another 30 bytes, it tells us 30 bytes written. Uh, so this is uh, how you can simply read data using a readable stream, and you know listening listen for the data event. And as you get that data, you can essentially write it uh, to a file using a write stream. And you know, as you are here, for example, you can do all kinds of stuff here. You can manipulate this data and and change it as you see fit. So so data that two string, for example. Oops. Okay, that two upper case. Okay. Okay, so what that will do, it will change the data to uppercase before it writes it to the file. And as you can see here, this is the effect it has. It just makes the data uppercase. And you know, there's really no stopping you, uh, as just your imagination. Uh, to do whatever you want with that data right here before you write it to the file. Okay, so there's an other way to do this. Okay, you can pipe uh, the data instead from the read stream to the write stream. So let's go ahead and get rid of all this right here. And uh, uh, we're going to do something that's very easy our stream that pipe. That's it. So we are essentially piping the data from the read stream to the write stream. So you run that again. Boom. And we look here. Here we go. All right. So in here, uh, we are essentially taking the data. Actually, let me delete this. Uh, so you can be sure this is working exactly as, expect, as expected. So run that creates the file for you and then pipes the data from uh, this uh, file right here directly to the right file all right guys so so this is the video uh, video on how you can use uh, writable streams uh, to essentially write data to a file okay you can uh, pipe that data you can listen for the data event on uh, on a read stream, for example, and grab that data and write it directly to a file. In the meantime, you can, you know, do all kinds of uh, manipulations to the data before you write it. Uh, and uh, um, yes, yes, this is the video, guys. Uh, uh, I will see you next time. Bye.